Hey guys, I'm just going to be uh, running you through the, the uh, process in which to start making a set for a V8 round. So we're here at Suzuka um, and yeah, we're just uh, starting off for the week. Uh, the changeover has just happened and we've got a new track. Um, how do we go about making a set which is going to be good for each track and the processes? So I'm going to um, run us through what we, uh, what we have to do. So we start off with a, a basic... Um, set which I'll share in the in the comments um, which you can just uh, download that um, yeah it's uh, just one that I just rely upon when I go to a new track I just load this basic good set up um, and off I go um, now the first thing we need to check when we get to the track is the tr track temp so currently it's uh, 44 degrees which is um, pretty warm it's uh, classified as hot so you set the car up for hot conditions um, and you, you'll be right so because it's hot we want the tire press is about 145 so I'm making 145 um, and you should be right Just save it there's, there's, uh, Suzuka. And we got the top the tight tent's good, so now we move on to other stuff. So um, the other thing we have to do uh, before we do anything with anything else is we need to work out gear ratios so that when we're going down a straight we don't uh, conk out halfway down the straight. So currently it's set at 3.15. Um, we'll test this. Um, we'll see how good this goes. So if it's conking out halfway down the straight, we don't want that, so we want a uh, shorter ratio, um, a longer ratio. Uh, obviously if it's, um, you know, not reaching the end of sixth gear down the end of the straight, then yeah, don't, uh, yeah, don't keep that, change the ratio. So she's alright here. Um, we won't really know until we get to the straight. It feels pretty good already on the, just the base set. Um, back end's a bit slippery, but we'll, we'll get there. The real test is going to be the front main, just start finish line straight in the back section. Lots of understeer, but we haven't done any adjustments on any of that stuff yet, so we will just look at the gear ratio at the moment. Uh, being 3.15 it's the longest ratio so uh, we'll see this will be a good test down here it's only just reaching uh, sixth gear Brakes too much, brake lock up. Don't worry too much about car stability at the moment. We haven't made any adjustments, so just gear ratios. Um, to be honest, I think we can make one, we can make an adjustment down. So one click down, we'll see us um, have a good ratio, I reckon. Let's go 3.25. Good, got ratio done. Now, the car was quite under under steering, uh, three corners. Um, brake lock up through the uh, through the rear, as we can probably see from here. So we go to rear chase, bar chase cam. 
control F12. Get a good camera shot of here. And then see which one locks up first. I think the rear actually locked up first, so that's uh Let's increase the brake bias. So more percentage brake bias will mean that more more percent goes to the front brakes. So let's go uh, one click forward. Now um, at the moment the car is feeling quite understeering. Needs some more turning. Um, so what we can do is drop the front down. A little bit. We can increase the tow in. Tow in will uh, help with turning. Um, and then most of most of the uh, initial uh, the t whilst turning in a corner, the understeer or oversteer has got to do with the compression and low speed dampers. Um, high speed dampers are for bumps. Uh, how it reacts over bumps felt pretty good. Need need some fine tuning, but um. We'll get there, um, and now just test that. So two things we're testing for, testing for understeer and through comps, and we're also testing for the uh, gear ratio. Is that going to be a good gear ratio for one? So she's feeling pretty good. Turning's a lot better. Bit of mid corner understeer. Tires haven't got much temperature in them either, so you got to wait for the temp temperature to increase a bit. Wait about a, a lap or so. wants to skate out a lot but getting a lot better um, braking capacity we're staying on the apexes so already that brake wise change is uh, making good effect it's a bit bumpy uh, as you can probably see so that will come down to uh, the low speed compressions and uh, rebounds compressions where the uh, springs compressed, how fast the springs compressed. Rebound is how fast the, the spring then goes back to its original state. So obviously if you want a pogo stick you want it to go quick, really quick both ways. Um, if you want a really slow reaction you go um, yeah, slow in both ways. And if you want in between you kind of just mix them up. Usually you, you make the uh, compression really fast and the rebound really slow. Um, but it all comes down to preference. So already we got better traction in the rear, and we're already starting to get some good, um, yeah, good apexing, good turning. Uh, so let's just see what this does in this lap. Still under, still under steering a lot. Test of speed is also um, looking at relatives and you know, the people approaching up on you, or other way you can do it is look at the standings. Current best lap is a 2:34. That's quite off the pace, so you can go faster. Um, but it's good just to look at the standings, look how good you are compared, or how fast your lap times are compared to others around you. If others are smoking you by, you know, a second or so, you know you've got lots of changes you need to make. Um, you know, you, you kind of you want to be topping practice sessions left, front, and centre. 
uh, this is the aim, so that when good guys uh, jump in, you can uh, give them a run for their money. Car feels pretty stable, pretty rock hard, uh, which is pretty good in my, in, uh, my preference. I like a nice hard uh, car, a car that doesn't move around on the rear, the front, um, lots of stability. So already we're getting a good, uh, good set base. So front's a bit bouncy. We're gonna fix that when we come back in. We'll just finish this lap and just see how we go. So 206, not too bad of a lap time. There you go, Gary. Not too bad, thanks, mate. So, um, we'll go back and we'll look at look at the uh, braking here. Yep, pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Car's pretty stable under braking. Um, pretty good. What we'll do is we'll move on to getting some good turn. Okay, so towing you, 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 it helps for initial turn in. Um, you don't want too much towing though because otherwise you, um, you get lots of heat build up and over a long distance in a race your tyres aren't very good. Um, so it's about balancing, you know, what you want to, um, whether you want to have a long distance car or a short distance car, it all comes down to that. Qualifying, it's not too bad. You can bump the toe in as long as it's not rubbing too much. But race distance, it's uh, yeah better to have um, less uh, toe in than more. So you got pretty good toe, in, uh, pretty good turn in. Mid corner, we can either increase the front spring rate. Um, or increase the front sway bar stiffness to um, get some get some uh, mid corner. What I'll do is we'll go like this, keeping the ARB pretty uh, <coughs> neutral. What we'll do, uh, we'll increase the front front things, and we'll also increase the sway bar. So she gets some more turn in. Uh, okay, now we'll move on to a low speed compression and high speed compression dampings. Um, we'll do a uh, high speed first. Um, some compression, so I want it to compress a bit faster, unload a bit slower, and I want some, want better mid corner mid corner turn so I want to decrease the compression and the rebound in the front so down two clicks and I want to increase it in the rear And there we are, um, and we'll leave that, leave the rear as it is. We'll test that. The car should feel a lot better now. You'll have good turn in. You'll have good mid corner turn. Um, the front will be a lot more stable. As you can see already, the car just you know wants to hit that apex perfectly. Um, there's no locking up of brakes, um, so it's all good science so far. Making sure to keep things nice and you know, easy on the first out lap. You're not going to get a real feel for what your car's doing. Um, it's 
better to go nice and slow on the out lap, just keep it on track, just warm the tyres up and um, see how we go. Front end feels a lot, lot more stable. Um, I have to work on the rear end, but um, this is a good starting off um, base for uh, Suzuka. See where we go quicker this lap. Time to beat two oh six point eight. Currently topping the session with not very many changes to the to uh, the base set really, so doing pretty well. Caught the grass there, bit of an error. Drifting everywhere. Hit catching the grass, that's why. Not as much tyre rubbing as we go around that tight corner, which is a good sign. Good, good to hear um, the car the car tyres aren't screeching or anything. So a bit slower, a few mistakes, but a bit slower. Um, do one more lap.
bit of understeer still with uh, braking. It's not liking turning and braking, so that's an issue to fix with camber. Too much negative camber. See if this lap's any better. There you guys. So a bit quicker there. And uh, yeah. Well, I hope hopefully that helped you to uh, kind of recognise what you have to do when you first get to a track. Hopefully that helps you and um, all the best at um, yeah whatever track you're trying to set up for. Um, yeah. So just remember first look at your track temp, set your tyres, then look at your gear ratio and and go for a, a lap don't care about anything else but just uh, yeah gear ratios do that lap change your gear ratio get that right first and then start focusing on the tire um, the you know turn in and and all that kind of stuff um, I probably usually focus on the how, how bumpy it feels um, the compressions and rebounds um, after so I worry about suspension after I just get good turn in and then worry about how the car handles on the flat surfaces and bumper surfaces surfaces so yeah thanks for tuning in and um, yeah I'll catch you later